it's just, it's time. I don't want to tarnish anything I've accomplished or, or give you something that's not the real me. Uh, yeah, I didn't tell anyone. Um, I've had talks with my coach, Jeremy Libashevsky, about the possibility of it. And, uh, you know, he's been a, a best friend and, a, and just a good person to always talk to. But it's time for me to do something new and move on because I, I don't have it in me anymore. Yeah, I'm, I, you know what? I'm just going to go back and I'm, I'm going to... Um, I obviously want to become a coach, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to go back home and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to think, and I'm just going to look into things and, and see and just go from there. On Monday, I'm going to go probably eat something that's really bad for you right now <laughs> and uh, go hang out with my friends and family, and then and then talk about it on Monday. But I have a couple things in the works and a, a couple possi possibilities on the horizon. Uh, I'd like to get into broadcasting and, and stuff behind that. I have a college degree. Um, I'm a well-educated, well-spoken person, I, I, I believe at least. And uh, you know, there's a lot of things I can do. Anything I, I really put my mind to, I know I can do. And it's it's time for me to just switch it up and, and do something else. Cause uh, you know, my, my, my heart, I still love this sport and I love competing, but my body just can't keep up with it. I can't. I can't do a training camp. I can't. I just too many injuries. Uh, you know, I, I I say never say never, but this is not like I'm gonna change my mind on Monday. This is something. This is something serious. I think. I think this was it. I think it's time, and I'm gonna focus on some other things. It is. It's. It's a hard decision. Um, but I. You know, I, I thought I think I've proven a lot. You know, I was I was never the best in the world, but I was always a fan favorite, and I I always came to fight. And and tonight was was not the real me. And I I I don't want to give that to my fans. I wanna I want them to remember me as a guy that's throwing people over his head <laughs> and and going bonkers and, and heel hooking people and and I'm just not that tw I'm not that 25 year old kid that can just come out like a whirling dervish. <laughs> you know, looking for blood. I'm, I'm 29. I know to some people that's young, but I've been doing this since I was 14, and I never stopped because I always wanted to be the best version of me possible. And uh, my time is up. Uh, you know, just thank you. Um, I have a fan base that isn't just really a fan base, it's a committed fan base. <laughs> um, the people that love me, love me. And uh, everyone's down, that's down with the New World Order is cool with me. I've, uh, I've always made myself super accessible to fans and uh, anyone that enjoys watching me fight. And I, I feel like, uh, you know, I always try to be a people's champ because I was that kid, you know, that wanted to be like everyone, a, a big fan of the sport. I still am a big fan of the sport. I watch fights all the time. I, I, I break them down and, you know, I, I just appreciate because I wouldn't have a job if people didn't care. That's right. Uh, what do you think you missed the most? Uh, get my hand raised, obviously. It's crazy, the crowd. Um, it was good to go out on a hometown fight.